Hey, thanks for joining me again. This is your host, Derek Lane. Another edition of the Fast Lane Podcast for Success. Thanks for joining me and glad to have you on board for today's edition. We're going to discuss a little bit about self defeating behaviors, why you do the things you do, negative or positive. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest things that becomes a self defeating behavior is procrastination. Procrastination stalls us from our success path, from the things that we're moving toward. And it's there because sometimes we get confused. Sometimes we get a little unsure about where we're going and what we're doing. So we just put things in a holding pattern. Okay, and imagine yourself in a plane that's in a holding pattern over, you know, landing. And you're being told you can't come in. You can't come in. You can't come in. You have to eliminate that and go ahead and say, hey, you know, I'm I'm going to deliver. I'm coming in. And do the things you have to do. Okay, procrastination can be very detrimental to your success. So, uh, understand that. Also, the negative self-talk. And I know we all experience that. You know, when you have negative self-talk that says, you know, I can't, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough. You have to understand that is holding you back. And I've talked about this before, that you have to talk to yourself in a way that says... If something didn't work out well, you say, that didn't work out well, I can do better. Not, I'm not good enough. I can do better. I will do better. I'm capable of doing better. Always talk to yourself in the, in the, in the facet that I will be better and stronger and more efficient going forward. Understand that failure is a part of success. Failure is a stepping stone to success. That it's a way not to succeed. So you've eliminated the way of not to succeed, to succeed, okay? So self-defeating behavior, when you dwell upon it and you vacillate within it, it can really be, you know, a killer to your to your psyche. So um, don't allow yourself to be caught up in that negative psyche. Self-defeating behavior can be the way that you react to people that act no- negatively to you you know, when you maybe are in a certain crowd or a certain group and you hear rumors, you hear this, you hear that, uh, and it's not all complimentary of you. And then you start to dwell upon it and say, well, maybe, uh, okay, it's, it's okay to be criticized. It's okay to take criticism and to be better. But don't let that become who you are. Criticism should be a positive. Criticism should be something that you grow from and not let it root you and cement you into thinking that that's who you are. Because oftentimes, criticism is just an embellishment of someone else's perception of you. Okay? Understand that. Criticism is an embellishment of a perception. So then now your job is to enlighten people. Enlighten people to who you are, to who you really are. Okay? Sometimes, remember when you were in school and you didn't get a lesson? You didn't get the, uh, you know, the, the assignment? It, it wasn't because you were dumb. It wasn't because, you know, you were behind other people. It was because it wasn't presented in a way that you learn. See, not everybody learns the same way. Not everybody takes the same lesson the same way. So when a teacher teaches a child in a manner that they understand... That child becomes a superstar in the teacher's eyes. That child got it. Doesn't mean that child is smarter than the person that didn't get it. It just meant that the child learned in the way that it was being taught. You teach the same lesson in a different manner, you can have a different outcome. The the child that didn't get it now becomes the person that did get it. The child that got it now becomes the child that didn't get it. Now who's the superstar? Now who's the the bright shining pupil of the class? See what I'm saying? Not everyone is always perfect. Not everyone gets it in the same manner. The lessons that we have in life or that we learn in life are, are how we learn them, how they're being presented to us. Have you ever listened to, if you're like me, I listen to a lot of, uh, you know, motivational, you know, sales and marketing and, you know, different podcasts and tapes, you know, different authors, books. And I can listen to a program and think, oh, that's pretty good. And I can play it again a month later and go, ah, I didn't get that. Now I do. I can play that same tape 
two months later and go, oh, you know what? I didn't get that. See, we learn things over and over. It's not how it's not how you know dumb or smart we are. It's how we're being taught. And most teachers would teach in the same direction, but not all students learn in the same direction. Very important to understand. So self-defeating behavior stems from a lot of how we're being taught and how we're being conditioned. So understand that you may need a different teacher to learn the lessons. So don't look at the same person over and over and over and go, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm still not getting it. I'm not getting it. Because they're teaching the same way. Okay? It's not you. It's them. I know that sounds a little contrite. It sounds a little you know, controversial based on you know what we've been conditioned to believe that hey if you don't if you don't get the lesson then you're dumb. You're not dumb. You had a dumb teacher. <laughs> I mean I'm I'm saying that kind of jokingly because I know teachers do the best they can. And I'm not talking about in your elementary and your high school and your college. I'm talking about in life. We all have teachers. We continue to learn whether it's through our favorite authors, our lecturers, even podcasters, we learn. It is your desire to continue to learn that keeps you on a success pattern that helps you strive to better yourself and to not have self-defeating behaviors. I know that this theme is self-defeating behaviors. However, there's a lot to be said about the learning process, right? And that's kind of what I've been harping on. And self-defeating behaviors kind of goes into that because I believe that when you understand that, you understand that I, I, I will quit doing the things that causes me to procrastinate, to put my success on hold. There's a whole different realm of things that, that you know I can jump into. When it comes to self-defeating behaviors, but they're all kind of little microcosms, uh, you know, st- stop eating bad food, um, you know, exercise more, um, you know, pay attention to your finances more, uh, quit overspending, quit overpromising. We we get that, you know. I'm I'm not I'm not. This episode is not really to be your Jiminy Cricket, if it, if you will. This episode is to help you understand that all of the things that you've been taught have to be questioned to a degree. Everything that you've been taught up to this point and that you put in concrete as this is the way things are should be questioned. You have a right to question things. You have a right to question everything around you. Now, I don't mean that you should be totally defiant and if you don't like the outcomes... You should be, you know, uh, obnoxious and say, you know, that's not right. Sometimes the outcomes are the outcomes, and you need to learn to accept the outcome. But you also have the right to question the outcomes. And what it all comes down to is if the outcomes feel right, right or wrong, okay, I get it. Yeah, you know, I could do better here. I could do better there. If that feels like the right answer, good, go to work on it. But when you get an outcome that you don't like and you go, you know, I I don't see that. I don't see that outcome. Then you have a right to question it. As human beings, we're put on this earth to do something. We're put on this earth to be something. Yes, I know that, you know, if you put, you know, chromosome X, Y, and Z, and we're here to procreate and move forward, and that's all we're here to do, that is the scientific portion of it, right? We're just here to to extend life. That's all we're here to do is extend life. Okay, I think that's a small part of it. I think that is a byproduct in my book. I think the larger picture is that we're here to expand life. Okay, not just to, to grow life, but to expand life, to expand knowledge, to expand our spirituality. So you have a duty to life to expand your knowledge, to expand who you are, so you can grow and teach, learn and teach, learn and teach and learn and teach. Really, that's, that's, that's the essence of life. But you must derive some satisfaction, some happiness out of your life. You must derive some element of satisfaction, a sense of worth, a sense of well-being into your life. Being frustrated, bottlenecked, disappointed, sad, angry is not the way to go through life. Self-defeating behaviors are all attributes 
of these negative emotions. It's a conscious decision to, to let them go, to let all of the things that are trapping you into negative emotions, let them go. Just let them go. You say, well, Derek, it's easy for you to say, just let them go, but I've got a lot of issues. No, you don't. Not really. In the big scheme of things, you've got petty issues. Let them go. Understand that the bigger portion of you is greater than you, and your effect on things should be positive. Your effect on life should be positive. All right, this is a kind of a, a philosophical and, and a, kind of a different uh, take on you know some of the normal podcasts, uh, but I, I just felt that um, I wanted to kind of reach out and, and, and talk about you know who we are as a person and uh, what we can do to continue our growth pattern as human beings. So um, if I jumped around a little bit, I apologize. I definitely, definitely want you to, to really replay this podcast because I think that I think there's a very deep underlying message that on first listen, you, you might not you know connect with. So um, you know, give it, give it a, give it a listen or two or three. Um, I think you'll find it. Um, hey, listen, guys, thanks so much. Uh, I just, I just keep getting more and more listenership, and it's awesome and great. And you guys are the best. Thank you. Um, you know the the response. Uh, you know the emails. Uh, you know. Um, didn't get a lot the last last uh, from the last episode. That's okay, you know it's great. That means uh, that you know it's kind of self-explanatory. So, um, but if you do have questions, Derek at fastlanepodcast dot com. Derek at fastlanepodcast dot com. Listen to me on your favorite outlets, iHeart, iTunes, and if you're on iTunes, like and share, like and share. Only positive comments, please. And a Stitcher Spreaker, whatever. Uh, it's all out there. And God bless you guys. Have a wonderful and awesome day. And, uh, you know, make it the best that you can, please. Mm-hmm.